Hello everyone, Chris Sassis here, and today for as the exercise of our week, um, I have a drill for you uh, that um, helps you work on your legs, of course, especially the back of the leg, uh, but also helps you uh, understand the transition between a two-foot balance and a one-foot balance, which is a transition that hides a lot of habits, something that um, it's very common in um, our everyday walks and you know movement actions um, we usually you know from standing we we go into moving and that transition how we manage it and uh, how we approach it how aware we are of it um, can make a very big difference in our walks and overall in our movement practice so i hope you will enjoy it and um, if you have any questions send me your questions at chrissa.assis at beltans.com start in your point zero position where there's no flexion in um, in any of your joints and slightly bring your weight a little bit forward and lift your heels slightly off the floor. You should feel your back leg, uh, the back of your leg activating. And then shift over to one foot, take a step, and find that same position again. Lifting the heels, and you should be feeling that your calves and hamstrings are activating. They're getting strong and ready to uh, propel you uh, propel you forward so almost as if you're about to jump so um, notice also how that brings your body in a slightly your upper body in a slightly different position and then it is very also important to feel strong and connected to the floor and ready to move from this uh, from this position this is a uh, very characteristic of uh, point zero position where our heels are even when our heels are still on the ground you're not committing to any direction just yet right here for example you're not committing to any direction however you are ready to move you can move from this point you can move in any direction that you like um, so now with regards to that shift that is the the key the, the the basic theme of our video today how do we go from a two foot balance to a one foot balance how are we aligning our body over that one spot uh, which is rather rather small you know it's not a very big surface over our foot and still manage to propel ourselves and uh, safely and shift our weight so all this requires some uh, preparation and you can see that there is nothing that is quite um, square uh, that's why I'm changing <laughs> all different directions so you can see it and we will do the same thing um, on heels uh, try to find again the feel that the, your ba the back of your leg is active and in this two foot balance you're not committing to any direction but you are ready to move there is a readiness and a calmness at the same time try to always pass from this stage two foot balance and transition to one foot balance and then take a step um, also, something to have in mind is that yielding, I want to take a moment to talk about that a bit, yielding is not pushing away from the earth and is not collapsing on the earth. Yielding is a sense of um, a communion and building a relationship with the ground. So there is not, uh, there's not tension, but... Um, uh, but a connection and almost as if you are rooting yourself you are getting you are getting power and energy from the ground in order to um, make your next step so that is the feeling that's how I feel um, anyways uh, when I'm you know successfully yielding um, the other thing that you want to, uh, and we say that in many different exercises, you want to pay attention to here is that you don't feel any 
any tension in key, key points, hips, back, um, knees. You don't feel too much weight being over your toes. Um, and you can breathe freely. And just like in our practice, try to find these springs um, in your heels. There's a little spring uh, behind your knees. There's a little spring inside your hips. There is a little spring. And also try to find these springs spirals that go from the top of the leg all the way down into the foot um, and from the leg from the foot all the way up into the body and time for your normal tango walks just to finish it off forward and backwards um, still though having that sensation that you're going from two foot balance to one foot and uh, trying to find that transition within our step just like here for example there are moments when we are on two feet how can we make that transition more efficient more successful